Hello and welcome to Sweet No Death, a short little horror game developed by RK Kin, available on itch.io. And apparently, it's a cute little game that may suddenly turn dark. I guess we'll see. And a little content warning, this is a horror game, so it may contain some dark themes, as I just mentioned. So, viewer discretion is advised. Let's begin. Oh, there you go. Here's the warnings. Strong language, death, blood, gore, and <laughs> cannibalism. Great. Why are the games... Like, again, every game I play has cannibalism, actually, when I think about it. Like, recently, I mean, I play a lot of Fear and Hunger, right? That also has cannibalism. Every game I play has a cannibalism for some reason. It keeps happening. Anyway. Once upon a time, there was a small woodland town. In a land where the grasses grow pink. And the trees hold yellow leaves up to the sun, as if to mirror her. In this town lived many animals, who would spend their days frolicking along the grass, and their evenings gazing up at the stars. And one very fateful night, a star fell. A shooting star, that had blazed its way across the galaxy, it shone brighter than anything they had seen. It landed right beside their quaint forest town. And then something quite curious happened. From the remains of the comet emerged a magical star witch. The animals were curious, asking her all sorts of questions. Who are you? Where did you come from? She answered she was a blessing from the stars, gifted with all kinds of magical power. She promised to use this power to make their lives as happy as can be. Using her magic, she turned a once pleasant community into an even more delightful one, creating many friends in the process. And so, they all lived in magical harmony. Right, that's it. You know, that's all that happens. Uh, no, actually, until... Until what? I don't know. Anyway. Ah, good morning, world. Always a pleasure to wake up to you. Here's to a good day today. Now... What was I doing today? Ah, wait, right. Raj wanted me to... Or, yeah, wanted to meet me down the river by uh, for a picnic this morning. I should start heading over there after I do my garden work for today. Move using arrow keys. <laughs> press space or enter to interact with objects and press X to open the menu, says... You know, says the voice of God. No, um... Alright, again, typical RPG Maker game. Save the game. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your bed. It's as soft as starlight. What does starlight feel like, actually? Doesn't it just light? You know, so it feels like nothing? I mean, I guess that's the, uh, that's the comparison. This star plush was a gift from Lamb Chop. Lamb Chop was the first person to give you a present after you arrived here. You remember him being a bit sheepish, presenting it to you. He said that he hoped you would think of him when you hold it. You do. Okay, Lamb Shop, Raj. I guess I'm assuming we're the witch and the people we're gonna meet are like the friends that we made, maybe? This basket was a gift from a Ruby. Ruby? Ruby. It's a lot used. These candles were a gift from Raj. A soft chair for a sitting with guests. You invite people over, but they're usually the ones inviting you out. Your kitchen. You don't need anything from these cabinets right now. Okay. Your cauldron. You use it to whip up potions and other magical concoctions to help your animal friends with whatever ails them. You feel like you've been using it more lately. Uh, more. I, I can't speak. You feel like you've been using it more than usual lately. It looks like a big honey pot. You know, are we living in like a Winnie the Pooh universe? You know, it's like one human and everyone else is an animal. Is the idea, maybe? Animal creature thing? Vile creatures. I don't know. This, for some reason, that popped in my head. Like, right, when, I, when I think of creatures, the word creatures, I just think like monsters. Oh, you grew in beautifully. Take a little water, a generous magic sprinkle. There you go. You should be good for the next few days. Goodness, how pretty you are. I could stare at you all day. But I'm a bit busy for that. 
A little magic for you. There you go. Oh, my. Moon daisies aren't supposed to be this color. You aren't sick, are you? Here, I've got you. There you go. Feel better? I'll leave a little extra magic for you. Okay. You fixed it, I guess. So, Appa listened. You're gorgeous. A bit of magic for you, and that's all you need. Oh, gosh. I haven't been spending too long on my flowers, have I? Let me get going. Okay. You know, and that's gardening, I guess. We sprinkle some magic. That's all. That's all we need to do. I guess we just follow the path. And I, again, I make a thousand saves because I'm a saveaholic. Well, I should say good morning and shop before I go meet Rash. I guess we need to do that. Hello, Lamb Chop. Lamb Chop's Venus Flytrap, aptly named Venus. It looks like she's been recently fed. Jars full of various types of small candies. You're never sure how much Lamb Chop sells in a day. Is there a demand for sweets? Good morning, Lamb Chop. Hi, Stella. Can I help you with anything? No, no, I just want to say good morning. Didn't feel right not to check on you. You're my friend after all. Is that so? Oh, aren't you the sweetest? Do you have any plans for today, Stella? You're always quite busy. I do. I'm actually on my way to meet Raj by the river right now. He invited me to a picnic. I think he wanted my approval for some of his cooking. <laughs> ah, right. I remember Raj telling me about this. I even gave him some candy earlier. For you guys to share. You did? That was very nice of you. Are you doing anything? Other than running the candy shop all day? Oh, indeed I am. After the store closes for the night, I'll be heading over to Ruby's Bakery. We're going to try workshopping a new pie recipe for the next group picnic. <laughs> I'd like to see Raz try besting us when it comes to the culinary arts. Oh, really? Gosh, that sounds like it'd be lovely and delicious. What, um... I'd be able to help you guys, maybe? Oh, it's really not necessary. We'll be fine on our own, promise. Oh, well, if you say so. I ought to get going. I don't want to keep Raj waiting too long. Right. See you later, Stella. Have a great morning. Yes, you too. Mm hmm? Can you go behind? Uh, Stella, there's no need for you to come behind the counter. I can get you anything you need help with. Come on. I'm just curious, that's all. Hey, Stella, did you need something? I want your soul. No, um... Let me know. Just... This way to the river, I guess. What's up here, however? Can I go up here? I can. Well, let's just keep Raj right waiting. <laughs> uh, you don't see Ruby in her bakery just yet. Okay. Plenty of coins lying the bottom of the fountain. Wishing on a fountain seems pointless for you around, though. A walking, talking genie. Residential area? Okay. We go here, but I imagine we can't do much here yet. Acorn's house? You knock on the door, but it appears they aren't home right now. Hmm. Buck's house? Not home. And the neighborhood stretches outwards, but you don't need to go much further than here. I guess it's a big place. You know, apparently all the animals in the forests industrialized, you know, and then they created houses for themselves and they have a thriving economy crazy you know, she introduced the power of capitalism, you know, that's that's the true magic the division of labor oh, oh what the heck already, you know, I didn't, I didn't realize this game would suddenly just you know, do that right away, I thought there'd be a little bit more build up but no, never mind No, we aren't doing this. This isn't that kind of story. Hello? What do you mean? Oh, Raj. Where's your head at? Oh, blood. I was gonna clean that up. No, it stains. I guess, well, there's some rabbit ears here. Oh, there you are. Collected Raj's head. In the game. Uh, can I just pop it back on? There, that's all the blood done away with a quick spell. Now to put your head back on your neck. Oop. Alright, now we just... 
Ah, hello, Stella. You made it just in time, you know? Nothing happened. Don't worry about it. Also, the, I guess, I guess the bunny has, like, a, a beard. Oh, that just feels weird to me because, like, bunnies already have fur, right? I mean, a lot of mammals already have fur. But to add on more, like, facial hair, like, humanoid facial hair feels weird to me. I don't know. Anyway. Rash, are you okay? Yes, why? You feel fine. Nothing hurts you or anything. Um, I suppose I do have a bit of a headache. But... That might just be me from tripping onto the ground earlier. You know, I just tripped and, you know, popped my head off. That's why. You tripped? That's how that happened? I know, I know. I'm not usually so clumsy. Which uh, also brings us to the bad news. Bad news? What kind of bad news? See, when I tripped, it was a... Kind of a nasty fall. And because I was so close to the river when it happened, well... I kind of spilled all our food into the river. <laughs> oh, oh, Raj, that isn't bad news at all. The important thing is that you're safe. I'm really sorry to ruin our morning plans like this. Goodness, if only I looked where I was going. Raj really isn't a problem. What about you? What are you going to do for breakfast now? I have plenty of food at home. And speaking of home, why don't you head home too? You said you had a headache, right? You ought to lay down and rest. Maybe use some of that medicine they gave you to store at home. If you need more, just tell me and I'll make another batch. Uh, no worries, Stella. I think I've still got enough. You know best, and the nap does sound nice right now. We're promising we can do this again soon. I definitely won't drop anything next time. Uh, probably. Well, that was that. I should look around a bit. Is there anyone else outside right now? Who's ruining, who's ruining our perfect world? We must destroy them. For our little community, you know. is all murdered, I guess. That's the idea. Hmm. Nothing out of the ordinary, it seems like. Just look around this place, but there's nothing here. So I guess we just go back. Oh, huh? who are you? Acorn? Oh my gosh, hi Stella. Hi Acorn, how's your day? Is it going well? Do you need help or anything? Actually, my day could probably be a bit better, huh? Why do you say that? Is it anything I can help with? Uh, maybe, I don't know. See, I needed some help watering some starflowers in my yard. Oh, starflowers are my favorite. Don't I know it? And I borrowed this watering can from Buck the other day, right? So, of course I want to give it back to him now that I'm done using it. But, uh, he hasn't been answering his door all day. I uh, actually haven't seen him anywhere all day, even though I went looking for him. He wasn't in any of his usual places, and no one I asked has seen him. Really? Nobody at all? No? Well, maybe Lamb Chop has, but he didn't give me a straight answer. How do you mean? I mean, he kind of seems to be in a grumpy mood lately. I stopped by earlier and asked him about Buck, but he was halfway to the back of his store. He said he didn't have time to help me look for him or whatever, and that he was busy. I asked if I could at least see what he was so busy with back there, but he said he was super secret. No oh, boys or girls allowed. I reminded him that I'm not either of those. And he slammed the door in my face. How rude. That's not very nice at all. Oh, it's not too bad. I think he's just antsy, that's all. I'm sure he didn't get, even mean it. I'm probably just taking it the wrong way. I don't know why he'd be getting so stressed over, though. Life here is a dream. Especially with you around. Well, if you think it's just stress, then. You know, speaking of land shop, I feel completely silly. Silly? Yes, I stopped by his store this morning and I completely forgot while I was in there that I wanted to pick up some candy myself. Ah, I see. Yeah, I think you should go see him again. I, If he's in a grumpy mood, I think seeing you will cheer him up. You think so? What makes you say that? Because seeing you always cheers me up. But also, I think you're his favorite out of everyone. I mean, I think we all kind of think you're the best, but I think he's always like you best. Best. Ever since that first day you got here. That's sweet. I won't waste any time then. I'll go see him. I hope you can find Buck in the meantime. You and me both. Assuming he's not freaking dead, I don't know. Also, we're kind of like a god, by the way. We're like god, you know, to these animal people. We've literally created them, so... 
obviously Buck isn't home. Alright, let's go see uh, Lamb Chop and see what he's up to. What's he hiding in there? You know, what's he hiding in the back room? What's so secret? Let's try to find out. Hi again, Stella. What's that? Strawberry jam? Hi again, Lamb Chop. Did you just have lunch? It looks like you have some jam left on your face. It's blood. Oh. Uh, excuse me. It's blood. Well, do you need help cleaning it off? No, I'm fine with it there. Are you sure? Well, if you're going to make such a fuss about it. So, what does he came back in here for? I just want to check on you, that's all. Oh, uh, you really care about me, don't you? Well, Stella, as much as I love to see you, I ought to start preparing to close up shop. I have to make sure I've got everything I need for her when I meet up with Ruby in a bit. But I'll see you tomorrow, won't I? Certainly. Okay. I better go check on her before he gets there. She must be in the bakery if she's waiting for him, right? Let's do that. Ruby! How do you pronounce your name, you know? Why do you have, like, multiple U's in your name? Do I pronounce it Ruby or Ruby? You know, every single time, I don't know. Ruby! Uh, Ruby! Hmm. Stella, you never say my name right! It's Ruby! You gotta say it with the Ru! Like, Aru! <laughs> okay, so I guess that answers that. Aru. Aru! Uh, uh, Aru! <laughs> okay. Aru! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. So, Ruby, there's actually something I wanted to ask you about. Lamb Shop is co uh, coming over tonight, right? Try out new recipes and stuff. Would you want me to stay and help? I know my way or two around the kitchen, you know. Oh, um, no, that's okay. I'd rather... I I'd rather be a surprise, yeah. That's right. I forgot, you like, like Lamb Shop, huh? Hey, that's not true. It's not. So you don't care about having a long time with him after all? Well, maybe. Maybe a little. I see, I get it. Well, I don't want to intrude on you if you don't want me here for it. Just please stay safe, won't you? Of course, Stella. I always keep things safe in the kitchen. And I never forget my oven mitts. Right. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Stella. I'll make sure to save extra just for you. It'll mean the world to me if you like what we come up with. Okay, Stella. Who is like a wolf? But like, it's kind of like a... It, it's kind of like a visual irony kind of thing. Where she's kind of like the Little Red Riding Hood. You know, she's wearing the Little Red Riding Hood. Get up, I feel like. But she's also a big bad wolf. In a village full of, uh, you know, herbivores. I don't know. And go in there. Dozens of sweet treats underneath the glass. You're always surprised with how much Ruby can churn out all by herself. What? Did you want anything before you go? Uh, I want... I want the truth. I want answers. I want answers, Ruby. Okay, well, never mind. Sunset. It's getting late already. I suppose I better get home then. I'm gonna go home and not question any of this. Oh well. La di da di da. Do 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 do. It's bedtime. Sure. I'm going to go to sleep. Well, I'm all ready for bed. Gosh, what is he doing right now? I should. Oh, lamb chop. I hope you're not being too rough on her. She's, soft, she's softer than the others. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Good morning. I should bring Ruby a uh, breakfast today. I'm sure she's hungry after working with Lanchop all night. Okay. Now let's see here. A little of this. Definitely this. Okay, yes. This should be more than enough. Don't worry, Ruby. If anything went wrong, I can fix it. What do you mean by that? 
I don't know. Check my flowers. Flowers are great. Do, 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 do. I go to Ruby at first, I guess. Ruby! What happened, Ruby? I don't know. Ruby, I was wondering who could have breakfast. Oh no, Ruby. Sorry, Stella. I'm not really hungry right now. Oh, Ruby. Can you bring me a pot, Ruby? Okay. Now, Ruby. While I'm preparing this, do you mind telling me what happened? I didn't mean to. I didn't want to do it. Sorry. I, I didn't. I shouldn't have. But, but I... Hey, calm down. It's okay, Ruby. You're safe, and I'm here to help you. Just tell me what happened, if you can. Last night... Now this and this? Perfect. Now be ready for when... Clam Chop, you here! I've been so excited! What do you want to try making first? Oh wait, you got a basket! What did you bring? We can use that for the first pie before it goes bad! Oh, yes. Some extra ingredients. What? What? You don't mind that I brought a friend for dinner, do you? Eat it. Huh? Did I stutter? Eat it. What are you talking about? I- You're a wolf, aren't you? Wolves eat meat. Eat it. You- You can't be Lamb Chop. I don't know who you are, but I never eat one of my friends. I've never eaten anyone. Come now. That's not true. The only thing I don't know is the way you look at me, Ruby. Everyone thinks you have a crush on me, but that's not quite true, is it? I think you want to eat me. Though I suppose that might as well be the same as a crush in the end. I mean, that's how a double meaning. Anyway, how are you meant to love something you don't want to destroy? Well, eat it already. Something's wrong with you. You're crazy. Ruby, shut it. Eat it before I make you eat it. Ah, oh, look. Or I'll look. You made me get my hands dirty. Tastes good, though, doesn't it? I should hope so. It took a lot to get to this point. <clears throat> oh, Ruby. You got such a beautiful smile. Nom nom nom. You know, she at least cook it, you know? Mm -hmm. How long has that... <laughs> how long has that, uh... Has that meat, you know, been rotting? I feel like, you know, it's not very good for the stomach. Anyway, up. Uh, I didn't want to do- I didn't want to do it, I promise. He dug his hands in the basket and- Ruby, it's okay. Thank you for telling me as much as you did. He was right too, Stella. It did taste good. I wouldn't worry about that, Ruby. Alright, Ruby, I'm all done. Now let's wipe your face and drink this for me, okay? I promise you'll feel a lot better. Stella, I don't know. I don't feel so good. I feel like I gotta- Excuse me. Wowie, I feel so much better. You're right. Oh, good. I'm so happy to hear that. Now, may I ask you again what last night, just really quickly? Sure, what do you want now? Um, uh, what happened last night? Oh, well, Lamb Chop came over to bake pies with me. And? Hmm, that's all I can remember, actually. I tell you what kind of recipe we tried up, but honestly, I can't recall. Kind of blurry, almost. All I can think about is how excited I was when I saw him come through the door. Everything after that just isn't really coming to me. I may have been daydreaming the whole time. <laughs> oh, no worries. No worries at all. I'm just happy to see you smile about it. Though I do wonder. Well, I'll see you later, Ruby. I need to check on something. Okie dokie. You need to pick up any sweet treats for yourself on, on the way out. Alright, well, I guess that was a forgetting potion. <laughs> you know, just cause a little amnesia. Don't worry about it. I don't remember much from last night. That's kind of embarrassing. We simply manipulate the residents of this town and not remember anything. Buck! Oh, Stella. Buck, I'm so glad to see you're alright. The, um, this might be strange, but where'd you come from? Oh, you notice, huh? I thought I could sneak out undetected. It's, uh, really weird. I, like, went to go help Lamb Chop or something. And then I just woke up in Ruby's bathroom? 
I, I don't know how I got there, and I didn't want to spook her, so I thought I could just sneak out the back. But I guess you caught me anyways. <laughs> right. Okay, that's how it works. Just like, I mean, I guess it's just magic. You just vomit out the person you ate, and they just came, they go back to normal. Amazing. Uh, Stella said, gaslight gatekeep girl boss, you know? I guess so. Well, uh, oh, Akron's been looking for you. They wanted to return your watering can. Oh, got it. I'll go look for them now. You can't keep doing this. You can't keep getting away with this! <laughs> I don't know. I think that's a meme. I actually didn't know where that uh, quote came from, but actually I think it's from Breaking Bad. Anyway, um... Hi, Stella. Good morning. Is everything okay, Stella? You seem a little grumpy. You know I saw everything you did, right? Oh, did you? Did you like it? No, Lamb Chop, I didn't. And I fixed it. You. Did you think I couldn't? I fixed all of them, Lamb Chop. No one's dead, no one's injured, they don't even remember it. Again. I fixed everything again. Stella. You evil fucking bitch, I hate you. I try to- I try- I just try to kill a bunch of people and you just- you know, you just you resurrect them with Phoenix Downs, what the heck? I- all I want to do is murder people. Can't you let me have this? <laughs> no, um... I don't know, that's the impression I'm getting. Do 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 do. It's all blood. Can I save the game real quick? No, this is real quick. Hmm. Look at this. X. U. I see you decorated more since last time. Mm hmm. How nice of you to notice. What's the me from? Lamb Chop, we need to talk about this. I shouldn't have eaten, bitch, myself. Maybe then we wouldn't have this problem. Yeah, I'd like to see you try fixing that. Lamb Chop. Why do you keep doing this? Because I want to. Why else? That's not an answer. How isn't it? Because you're not telling me everything when you say that. Fine. I do it because it's fun. There, are you happy now? Do you think I'm stupid? That I accept you just want to do this stuff because it's fun. How could anyone get enjoyment out of this? Oh, fuck off, Stella. You never understand it anyways. Get the fuck out of my shop. Okay. You know, he's just, he's just throwing a temper tantrum, you know? All he wants to do is murder people, that's all. I told you, just fuck off. Well, I don't want to leave just yet. And that's just like you. It's always about what you want. The entire g fucking goddamn world is always about what you want. Oh, what I want. It's about what everyone wants. Everyone gets to f eat good, feel good, be happy. What more could you be asking for? What more do you want? I want you to drop dead. This isn't the lamb shop I meant when I first came here. He would have never said that to me. No, it's not. And he wouldn't have. But I like this one better. I guess you'll just have to deal with it, hero. Hmm. I guess we'll just leave? I don't know. We'll give him some space. That's that's right. We'll, we'll just, you know, give him time to, like... He'll turn around, right? Oh, Lamb Chop. I try to help you. But I'm not sure if you can be helped anymore. If that's the case, then... Well, what are we gonna do? You know, sometimes, when friends are being toxic, you just gotta let them go, right? <laughs> right, or something like that? I don't know. Uh, I mean, actually, where do we go now? I'm not sure. I don't know what she means by that. Hmm. Oh, Lamb Chop. I didn't want to have to do this. But you've given me no choice. You won't let me help you. So, I'll have to do it on my own. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I know. It seems like there was an option to keep talking to him, but I want to see what happens if you don't. So, let's see. Uh, good morning, Sunshine. What a beautiful day it is today. I should go check up on Lamb Chop today. He might need a little help. Does he? What's he up to? 
Hello? Oh, good morning, Stella. Good morning, Lamb Chop. Are you doing okay today? You seem a little antsy. Aren't I always? It's alright, I just, uh... I gave myself a little bit of a paper cut this morning. It started bleeding and it really icked me out, you know. I prefer to avoid blood when I can. <laughs> I see. I know how you get with blood. Well, you always know how to come, too, if you ever need a bandage or something. Or, uh, or, I read that wrong, I feel like. Well, you always know who to come to if you ever need a bandage or something to kiss the boo-boo better. Oh, of course. Thanks, Stella. You're the best. Thank you, Lamb Chop. I'm happy to hear you think so. Alright, Baba Black Sheep. There you go. I guess technically that's the wrong end. The bad ending, I guess. I guess what she did was I uh, reprogram him. You know, she simply went into the code and reprogrammed his brain. So he isn't like a psychopath. I mean, in a way, it's kind of a good ending. You know, it really, I, I don't know why, but I'm just reminded of Shin Megami Tensei. This is like the lawful ending, you know, where like everything is in its place, right? Everything is, is, uh, is the correct order. Well, but let's see what, uh, let's see what happens if we, you know, not do that. All right. So, uh, let's not leave early. Let's continue talking to Lamb Shop and see, you know, what's the root cause of his problem here. Do you know what's funny? I never really thought much of Ruby. Or really, I thought of her as such wasted potential. A wolf with pointed claws and sharp teeth, yet indiscernible from any prey animal. You may as well have defanged her the entire time you've been here. But last night, something happened. I watched her gnash away at what I made out of Buck, and something about it. When I saw her, I saw her like that, crying, her mouth just dripping with blood. Just her teeth were all red. It felt like the way it was meant to be. And looking at it, it's like I was overcome with this urge suddenly, one I never felt towards her before. And that, that is, I wanted to kiss her. Did you? Ha! <laughs> like I'm gonna tell you. It's more fun to watch you grapple over the idea. Weird. Okay. What? Are you still wondering if I'll tell you? Ha <laughs> ha. You know what, Stella? I'll tell you this. I've always wanted to kiss you a lot more. Okay, weirdo. I mean, come on. You look like an angel when you first got here. The way you spoke to us was nothing but comforting. And you had this unbreakable charm to you. Was I not supposed to be drawn in by something like that? I was enraptured by you, completely swept up in how absolutely above me you were. And now, I think that's just it. You always saw yourself that way too, didn't you? When I tell about how Ruby looked last night, I it reminded me of you. I only wanted to kiss her because in that moment, she looked so beautiful and felt so real. And I realized that when you came here, it was like you were the first real thing to ever happen to me. And after all the time that's passed, I realize that's even more true now. The way I am now, I feel like a person, like more of a person than I ever been before. I see everyone else the way you always have. How can you expect me to feel bad about what I did to Buck, to Raj, to anyone? Am I supposed to feel guilty what I did to Ruby last night? She isn't a person. Not yet. Not the way that you and I are. But she could be. She could be if you let her. But who am I kidding? You won't even let me. I don't know. I feel like a person would have something called, you know, morality. Anyway. But Stella doesn't want to surround herself with people. She wants to surround herself with friends. Everyone here is your friend, right? That's what I am to you too, right? I'm your friend? That's so funny. I don't ever recall you being mine. Excuse me? Hmm? How can you say that I'm not your friend? Everything I do is for you. Oh, did I make you mad? You're really cute when you're mad, Stella. Kind of proves my point though, doesn't it? The second something isn't the way you want it to be, you get mad. Imagine how I feel repeating a daily cycle living in a sugar-coated hell. If anything, 
You should be happy it took me so long to get to this point. But no, you would be happy for me no matter what. Because that's fun. Because the stuff that's fun for me isn't the stuff that Stella likes to see. And anything that doesn't fit into Stella's idea of a comfortable and perfect world has got to go, right? Again, I don't know. The whole killing thing kind of like does not prove your point, however. I feel like, I don't know. Like, if you like, I don't know, if you're like a little bit edgy and you like, I don't know, uh, heavy metal and maybe then they would prove a point. But no, you're just chopping people up. I don't know about that, though. I feel like. Also, I feel like, uh, by the way, uh, your your messages got retracted? I don't know what that means. Oh, I think, well, maybe you did that intentionally. I, I just noticed that some messages have been retracted in chat. I was wondering why that was the case. I mean, I've seen messages deleted, but retracted? I've never seen that before, actually. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, maybe I'd be happy for you if your idea of fun wasn't killing all your friends and making them eat each other. Did you ever think about that? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, I mean, that's my point. Yeah, like... You know, I don't know about that though. I mean, if your if your idea of fun is like I don't know, uh, going snowboarding or something, I don't know, like something that isn't like what maybe she wants. I guess that would prove a point, because you know, her her idea of of like uh, of um, having these group of friends, you know, pretend to be her friend or whatever, because she has control over them, that is a bit stifling. Yes, but I don't know about killing a bunch of people. Anyway, of course I have. But then I thought about some more. And do you really treat them that much better? You really have completely lost it, haven't you? Oh, you're so funny. Who do you think I learned how to love from? If this is your idea of love, then I can't believe you haven't compared me. I don't love like this. Oh, my stars, you can't even see it. You're delusional. <laughs> okay. He's just, he's, I feel like Lambshaw's projecting. Explain it to me then. How are our ideas of love possibly the same? Alright then. Let's take a look at the way you love. You arrive here on a falling star, and the second you do, you take this entire town into your hands. Before anyone knows it, you're fixing all their problems. Problems they even know they had. Problems they never even asked for help with. Suddenly, you're the center of their lives. Of everyone's lives. They're planning their days around you, doing things they'll hope will make you happy in the end. You've consumed their minds just like you did mine. And so, when I think about it like that, it's really clear to me. You have no idea how to love anything without eating it. And now I'm not so sure if you can see love any other way. You know, Stella, I think we should get married. You and me, husband and wife, what do you say? We've already bound to each other together in an eternal misery. Might as well make it official. Maybe or by the end of it all, we'll finally eat each other, and then neither of us will be winners. Lamb Chop, stop this already. Can't you understand I don't want you to be miserable? Ha, huh, could have fooled me. You've been doing nothing but make me miserable for who knows how long now. I want you to be happy, Lamb Chop. Of course I want you to be happy. But I can't get behind this. I just don't get it. Everyone else is happy with the things, with, they, with the way things are. So why can't you be? What is any of this doing for you? Okay, now you're really starting to get on my nerves. You're not even listening to me, are you? I mean, <laughs> why would you? Of course you're not listening to me, because I'm not saying what Stella wants to hear. You just want and want and want. It's all you ever done from the moment you've landed here. You just want what you want and you so you take it. With no regard for anyone here. Because what do we want? We want what we're supposed to want, and what we're supposed to want is to make Stella happy. And if something's not making Stella happy, then there's something wrong with the things we want. Because Stella, beautiful, stupid, aggravating, celestial Stella, can never think about, about anything other than what she wants. And she can't handle that for the first time since she got here. It isn't about what she wants. It's about what I want. I, I don't know. I guess we'll see. You know, I do have a few problems with his logic, obviously. I feel like he's trying to gaslight. He's, he's gaslighting us, you know? Freaking. Then what is it that you want? I want misery. I want death. I want a fucking life. Nothing has ever meant anything with you around. Not unless it was about you. We have picnics and it feels like nothing. We throw tea parties and festivals and there's nothing. I realize at a certain point that when you smiled at me, there was nothing behind those eyes. I'd never been a person to you until all of this. I, we, all of us, 
have always just been accessories in your vision of a perfect world where everyone needs you to feel like you're great. But now, now I'm somebody. I'm somebody and you hate it. I'm happy and I'm doing something that makes me happy. It makes me happy even when it doesn't make you happy. And when you look at me now, you're seeing someone. And all I had to do was everything you hated. Isn't that so funny? And the funniest part is that I feel like I finally understand you. Because when I watch these fuckers die, I've never felt more alive. Because now I get it. I finally feel what you felt all this time. Control. But I'm not supposed to. That feeling's reserved for Stella, right? So she'll stop me at every turn and every corner. And just like always, the story returns about be uh, or the story returns to being about Stella again. Huh. Saying it out loud, there's an odd sense of joy in knowing you're just as awful as me. Maybe even more when we considered everything that led to us being here now. Maybe that's why I still like you after all this. Your mind's more fucked up than anything I can come up with. Yeah, that's it. That's what I still love about you after everything. I can never get enough how awful you are. I aspire to it. You know what sucks though? Even this isn't gonna last forever. You'll keep fixing whatever I do, and you'll keep wishing that I'll stop. But you get used to it. And just like that, I'll stop being a person to you again. Before I know, you'll go back to seeing me the way you see everyone else. It's another part of the story. Who repeats all his old lines to you over and over and over again. You know what? Uh, okay, you keep with it. You get, you get used to it. You know, and over and over again. You know what sucks though? Blah 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 over and over again. Blah 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 over and over again. Okay. There we go. Can I chop his head off? I was thinking, can I just freaking decapitate him? I, like, he's doing his little villain monologue the entire time, and I'm like, shut up. Alright, well, I guess we'll go. But yeah, how I feel about it is like, I don't know. It's kind of like, that doesn't justify him murdering people, you know? <laughs> Maybe. There's still a way to make you happy, too. Hmm, okay, well, that's different, I think. I don't know. I, I get it, you know, it's because... You're stuck in like a in a world where you can't really do anything you want, and so you lash out by murdering people. But like, again, it's like, it really is the like he's projecting, though. You know, I feel like on Stella, because what Stella's doing is not exactly the most evil thing in the world necessarily. But anyway, he's right. He's been my friend ever since I got here. But am I really allowed to call myself his? Friends try to make each other happy. Even if recently that's not the case. Maybe it's because I haven't been keeping up my end of friendship. So. I'm sorry, what? Hmm, oh yes, guts and blood everywhere. It's, cool. it's, it's, it's a funny little aesthetic. Alright, what are you trying to pull? I'm not trying to pull anything. Then what's all this for? You don't expect me to believe any of this blood and guts are real, do you? You're correct. It's just magic and decoration. Why? I thought you hated this stuff. Well, I do. I think this stuff looks awful. If it was up to me, I'd tear it all down right away. But you like it, and I'm your friend. And I care about you and the things that make you happy. And we live here together, and I don't want you to feel like you're nobody here. I'm also uh, maybe hoping that if you're happy, you're going to stop killing everyone. <laughs> a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a teeny tiny bit. Just, you know, your homicidal tendencies. Huh. Oh, Stella, you're right. You wanted this to make me. You wanted this to make me stop. Seeing it makes me feel more motivated than ever. Gosh, if what I do leads you to do all of this, I need to up the ante. I gotta keep going. I need to do things that'll really stick. I need to do something so fucked you have no idea how to fix it. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, come on, Lamb Chop. I'm doing all this because I want you to be happy. So do I. Even still, wouldn't you be happy with things this way anyway? Excuse me? You like playing hero, don't you? How are you going to do that when there's no, there's no villain? I like the decorations, by the way. They remind me of you. Very pretty. Okay. <laughs> Lamb Chop. I'm happy that we're friends. I know you are. The sheep said to the witch, and they lived happily ever after. Wait, what? <laughs> That's it? And blood. Good. 
and thus they continue to live in eternal torment, just killing and reviving over and over again. You know what? What do the other people think about this? I don't know. I feel like <laughs> is it gonna suck? I feel like I mean, eventually, I mean, I feel like this. Could, I mean, it could be a, a premise, just like something else, but I don't know if the developer would do that. I feel like you know this. This is kind of like its own story. I feel like, but it could really play into like another like story where everyone starts remembering you know the loops of where they die a whole bunch and they all go crazy i don't know what i feel like anyway okay well you know it's a kind of a twisted game i guess i mean again in a way he, he's, he's sort of right and like yeah it is a more interesting story because there's a there's a hero and there's a villain conflict you know creates a more interesting story and whatnot so overall i think it is an interesting story though i do disagree him on a i do disagree with him on a philosophical level but uh you know i mean i get it i guess I, I guess the story i mean it's very similar i guess to like um like i don't know i'm trying to think like what's a, what's i mean i guess any any comparisons i make to like another story or a game is like spoilers i feel like <laughs> But like, you know, it's very similar. You're stuck in like a loop, I guess, you know, like a magic loop, supernatural kind of loop. And so eventually you run out of things to do and you start murdering people, I guess. I guess that's the idea. I mean, I guess when you think about it, him murdering people isn't that bad if there's someone to revive everyone anyway. So like, it's like a game really, <laughs> you know, it's like death doesn't really matter at that point. So I guess it's not that bad. I don't know. This is weird though, I guess. You gotta like... Uh, you know, you gotta like uh, think about the world, not like the real world, I guess. But anyway, yeah, I'm yeah, I'm assuming you know, I'm assuming Arcade Kid is this is just like its own like um, how do you say what's a what was it called like a one shot you know kind of like a one shot kind of story like its own little story and I, I, I think it works it's just this little short story on its own um, because it's very similar actually very similar to uh, other horror rpg maker games that the developer has made that is also like its own stories you know so and i think of course and it's interesting though that in this game it's actually as far as i know all of them are new characters you know i've never seen any of these characters before in their previous games so i guess yeah these are all like all new characters it's kind of interesting too and again I, I, I do like the premise you know i do like the premise like everything is like all cutesy and everything but really I guess it's kind of like when I think about it, it's kind of like um, kind of like a deconstruction of like a children's show. You know, you know how like in a children's show, it's like I, as I mentioned before, like we need a pool or something, or it's like every every day is great, you know, and everything is like there's no nothing bad happens, and it's like or you know if anything bad happens, it's like every, everything is fixed by the end or whatever. And kind of it's kind of like a deconstruction of that. You know, if you're stuck in that kind of like world or whatever, I guess if you become aware of that you go crazy <laughs> like lamb chop i don't know <laughs> anyway uh but there you go i mean i guess that's the game i think i got both endings there's only two endings i feel like and uh and yeah it was a uh, it was definitely an interesting little story i like it you know i get very twisted <laughs> but i like it because of, because I, I i you know i am when it comes to fictional stories anyway i am a bit of a lamb chop where I actually i do like that bit of edge to it so i do like how uh, it uh, unraveled uh, but anyway there you go I guess that's it for uh, sweet no death um, if you're watching the video then uh, don't forget to subscribe you can also check out other content on the channel I actually played a few games by the same developer as well um, I'm trying to think I mean the most I think the last one again uh, I can't speak the last game that I played from them was blackout hospital you know that was also kind of like an RPG maker game that's a little bit longer as well so you can check that out if you want if you didn't know, I stream these games live, so you can change the notifications from personalized to all if you want to get notified when I go live. But there you go. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you then.